cautious. Hasn't Candace come out and said candy gal? Also, did you see this, that Chris Bassett spoken up in defense of Candace? Someone's coming after her. Well, what are they coming she... after her about? I saw the clip too, where she's not sure she wants to have light skinned children. Are they coming Correct. after her? Yes. About that? And, and Chris a... is like, that's fine. All right. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure people have that conversation, you know, in real life. I mean, by the way, like... sorry, yeah. it means cut you off. That, that is important. You have to have that discussion. Um, apparently Eagle Eye fans had this just in from last week. Um, fans have spotted Kim Richards' name on a sign at the Beverly Hills reunion, sparking rumors Miss Richards' Kim was supposed to attend with her sister Kathy. All three sisters would have been on the stage for the first time ever. Kim appeared in several episodes, though, throughout the season, though, it was Kathy who surprised castmates at the reunion couch. In a screenshot, Kim's team was posted on a sign of a trailer next to Kathy's. It was only shown for a small moment. Ooh, you guys are good. You see everything. I don't even know. As I told you, I was at Elizabeth Vargas's on air on her podcast. I'm like, what season were you on? 14, 15, 17? I don't know. Fans are now wondering if Kim was supposed to attend the reunion, but didn't show up. Other wonders if there was... Well, uh, if she was there with Kathy behind the scenes. Oh, this isn't oh here. Oh I have a picture. <laughs> there you go, everybody. We have a picture of Kim's name on the door. Wow, that would have been really big. What do you think about this, honey? I think I would have loved to have seen that. I think everybody would love to see that those three women on camera. I just th I think they would love it. I think they would love it. I think that's the realest angle they could ever do. However, I think they all are hesitant to do it because they sort of go through these ebbs and flows where they all get along and then they don't get along and they hate each other and they like each other. And I don't know. I mean, you know, we always say if you're going to be on a reality show, you know, the Kardashians are able to stay a family because it's not really real anymore, you know? That's and because eating. there's so many of them, you know what I mean? Like when your day is off, they have the others pick up the ball. You know what I mean? But I think those, those girls, uh, cause Rob's out. Um, oh yeah. Caitlin's out, you know, I think they all uh, understand the assignment. I, I think Kathy and Kim and Kyle, what's so great is that it's actually genuine, but they get upset. They get genuinely hurt. And Kathy, I Can't we just sure. have a nice little scripted light bite show Maybe. with the three sisters like Kardashians, like just light, light and bright and we'll never deal with anything so real, you know? Yeah, why not? I'm sure they're talking to producers all different ways, but we would love a Kim Richards back. And again, I always say it. I I don't know Kim Richards per personally, but I would you know? hope that her sobriety, she's been sober now a few years. Hopefully that's more important than anything else. But at the same time, uh, do we want to see sober people on air? You know, well, a lot you... of the fans have come for Lindsay Hubbard because she said, you reminded me of cocaine Carl last night. And Carl is sober. So there's somebody sober. Uh, Lala. Kennedy. Everybody's sober on Vanderpump. I mean, do you, is there two or three more seasons of all of them being sober. If what we think happened at the reunion, if Ariana eviscerates Lala, and now our first Tom Sandoval saves the show, now two seasons later, Ariana is saving the show because she's eviscerating Lala. I think Ariana eviscerating Lala, Lala going psycho like she often does when someone comes for her. And then Lala, I think Ariana and Katie versus everyone. If Schwartz, if if Sandoval could be back in with Sheena and Lala and Schwartzy, and it's those three versus Ariana and Katie, and God only knows James could be in the middle with Allie, that's a more interesting season. I and mean, we can't talk about the, the outs of Tom Sandoval next year. It's got to be the outs of Katie and Ariana. And that could be led by Lala. So Ariana Maddox, if you eviscerated Lala at the reunion for real, then you just, I think, bought the whole show another season, right? Yeah, I think I, I, I yeah, I think you have to have that. So 
This ain't this train ain't going down. Somebody over there, producer, is going to tap, tap, tap somebody on the shoulder and say, as we wrap up this reunion, let me explain to you how we're going to start going into next season. And guess what? If we have eviscerating this and eviscerating that and tensions are running high, guess what? We're starting to film right away, girl, right away, as soon as it's over in May. And you know what the thing is? Like when you know you're coming back and you know you have your job, like we had this huge pause with Jersey, you know, and it's coming out. We filmed it, but we held it. I mean, it's, it's, you still feel it if you're like the Sage, you know, my friend, the Sage, some refer to her as Miss Justice. She lives in Englewood. I wish her well. But like, if you were waiting for a paycheck, Teresa, Teresa loves, oh, that animal, that animal, she loves money, that animal. But I love money too. But when you're waiting for your paycheck, you know, if it, we space it out enough, you're getting one check. You're getting $1 million a year versus the two. Like you do feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like just, you have your job, you keep your job. But if you're not shooting once a year versus twice, you are making half the salary technically. So I have a weird feeling Vanderpump Rules might be like Salt Lake and Beverly Hills on a very short list of shows that is now picking up filming pretty much right when we stop. I bet you Lala and Ariana saved this, but really Ariana. So thank you, Miss Maddox. Thanks for taking a break from Chicago to come and film the reunion. And all that jazz. What a great little show. Classic, classic Broadway show. Have you gone to see it yet? Are you going to see it? I saw it with the one, the only Girardi Jane, Erica. I saw it with Erica. And all that jazz. Let me tell you, Erica, Erica, for a non-trained Broadway professional, kept up, kept up well. She kept up well, that Erica. Ah. I'm going to be doing the RHONJ recaps on Patreon only. They're going to be huge. Oh, Uh, what do you mean? That's so um, lovely of you to wish me that success. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what do you make of, uh, do you, do you, are you into at all the drama with Heather Dubrow and Dylan Mulvaney? And um, I think, isn't it Dylan Mulvaney's, um, she came out with a song, right? About being a girl or something and music video. And uh, yeah, you know, people are just, um, they're not happy with Miss Dubrow. They're like, they've left lots of derogatory comments about this video. That Dylan man, she upsets the masses now, here's what I want to know. I mean, I don't want to start no trouble. Not that I give a shit. Oh, but start it. Start it. Did you uh, yeah, tell me? Come on. I just wonder, where is the Dodd Rick? What the hell is Rick's last name again? I forgot. I mean, sorry, Rick. It's been so long since we oh, spoke. Kelly Dodd and Rick Leventhal? Leventhal. There you go. How could I forget that? Uh, some say vodka. Some say such a fast-paced charm life. I say a 